In this video, I'll go over the two ranger subclasses, the hunter and the beast master. The race I've chosen is a wood elf. They have an inherent bonus to dexterity and wisdom. Dexterity affects your character's chance to hit and damage with ranged weapons, and also your initiative and armor class. Wisdom influences how difficult to resist your spells are. In one of my upcoming videos, I'll talk about each race and their perks, and which class they'll be best at. Subscribe to be notified when the video comes out. At level 2, you will need to choose a fighting style you want your ranger to specialize in. Archery will give a plus 2 bonus to ranged weapon attacks. This roll determines whether you hit an enemy or not. Defense will increase armor class by 1. Dueling will give a plus 2 bonus damage if you are using a one-handed weapon and doesn't have anything on your offhand. And 2 weapon fighting adds your ability modifier to the damage of your offhand weapon. I'll choose archery for both subclasses in this video. For the level 1 spells, the only ones worth getting for a combat-focused ranger are Ensnaring Strike, Hail of Thorns, and Hunter's Mark. My ranger has the Bounty Hunter perk. Enemies hit with Ensnaring Strike will have disadvantage on their saving throws. This simply means that instead of one, they roll two dice and use the lower value on their save. <coughs> For 10 turns, Ensnaring Strike will damage the enemy every time they fail their Ow. saving throw. This spell also prevents them from moving. <coughs> the Hunter's Mark will deal an additional 1d6 of piercing damage. For comparison, here's the normal damage. <coughs> and damage done with Hunter's Mark. You need to reach level 3 to be able to pick a subclass. Hunters can choose from three exclusive features. Colossus Slayer, which adds 1d8 damage to enemies that aren't in full health once per turn. Giant Killer, which allows you to perform a melee counter-attack when a bigger creature attacks you. And Horde Breaker, which allows you to attack two creatures, provided they are close enough to each other. Horde Breaker has a somewhat limited range, as can be seen in the red circle here. The sorcerer will be completely unaffected. <laughs> Targets that are suitable for a follow-up attack will glow green. Personally, I find Colossus Slayer to be a much better choice. It allows you to kill enemies much faster. Always keep in mind though, it won't trigger on Not enemies well, with full it's... health. Not as bad as it could have. At level 4, you will be given 2 ability points to spend. I suggest you increase dexterity and wisdom. At level 5, you get an extra attack and access to level 2 spells. I have chosen Spike Growth. It reduces the movement speed of creatures within it and damages them if they walk on top of the spikes. At this level, the hunter can cast 4 level 1 and 2 level 2 spells. The spikes will last a hundred turns and deal insane amounts of damage to anyone walking over it. 
best get going. Ah! Move! Ah! Move! Ah! 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 Oh! Oh! What to do? Be extra careful you don't get hit, though. The spell ends prematurely if you lose your concentration. As can be seen here. That's it for the hunter. At level 3, Beast Masters gain the ability to summon a Beast Companion. They are not very strong at this level, as the animals have very basic stats and abilities. But they do get a significant boost at level 5, increasing both their HP and armor class, and gaining new special abilities. I'll go through each one in detail at level 5. At level 4, Beastmaster gets 2 ability points to spend. Like the Hunter, it's best to increase Dexterity and Wisdom. No improvement to the stats of your animal companions at this level. At level 5, Beastmaster gained an extra attack and a new subclass feature called Companions Bond. This will significantly strengthen your animal companions. More on this shortly. Level 2 spells will be unlocked. And similar to the Hunter, at level 5, the Beast Master can cast 4 level 1 spells and 2 level 2 spells. The Bear now has 39 HP and an armor class of 15. Its special ability is provoking enemies to attack it for two turns. Now, it also gained Honeyed Paws, which can disarm enemies, or knock them prone if they're unarmed. There appears to be a bug with this move right now though, as I've tried more than a dozen times, but it just won't activate for me. The boar now has 27 HP and an armor class of 14. Its special ability is charging into enemies and knocking them prone. Now, it also gained rage. This puts the boar into a frenzy, increasing its size, damage, and physical damage resistance. In addition to this, the boar also gained frenzied strike when it's in a frenzy. Since this is a bonus action, the boar is the only animal companion that can attack twice per round. Remember though, Frenzy will end if it takes damage, or hasn't attacked an enemy on its turn. The wolf now has 31 HP and an armor class of 16. Its base attack is now necrotic. This used to be piercing damage. Its special ability is lunging into an enemy and possibly knocking them prone. The Raven now has 21 HP and an armor class of 19. Its special ability can blind enemies for two turns. Now, it also gained Bad Omen, which can curse enemies for two turns. 
attack rolls on cursed enemies will have advantage. Meaning, the attacker will roll two dice and use whichever is the higher value to determine whether their attacks hit. The spider now has 24 HP and an armor class of 18. Its special ability can unweb enemies, that is, they can't move, and attacks on them has advantage. Additionally, it gained Entomb. It will trap enemies in its web, and they can't move or take any action. They will only be freed from this condition upon taking damage. So which subclass is better? For me, it's the Beast Master, hands down. Colossus Slayer is powerful, but it only triggers once per turn, so the Hunter's extra attack at level 5 won't benefit from it. Beast Companions, on the other hand, are a steady source of damage and debuff, like the Raven's Bad Omen and the Wolf's Infectious Bite. My next video will showcase Jebediah, the Bard, and his dilemma in choosing which college to attend. Subscribe to be notified when it comes out. Thanks for watching.